set. Not bad. What's up crew? It's Chris with Clover Tack. Welcome back to the channel and really been enjoying this nine millimeter carbine rifle uh, from Anderson, the AM9. Uh, but recently Anderson has thrown their hat into the handgun arena. And so today we're out on the range, going to be taking a little closer look at the Anderson Kiger 9C Pro handgun. So let's go. So the first question that you want me to answer, I'm sure, is what's up with the name Kiger? And well, uh, it's a fitting name because a Kiger is a type of a wild Mustang. And if you look at the overall aesthetics and design of the Kiger at IC Pro, I think it fits that bill as far as being wild. Um, need to tell a story before we move on too much further in that I had an OMG moment with this handgun and picked it up at the local gun shop racked the slide back to make sure everything was clear, dropped the magazine, and that's when the OMG moment happened. There is obviously a lot of care taken in the details, the design details of this handgun, and the magwell, I think, uh, is a prime example of that. Did you see how easily that magazine dropped from that magwell? And that magazine is not loaded. There's no weight in that magazine. It's simply the weight of the polymer magazine itself, which is insane. It slides back in and it locks. There is no friction until you hit that lock. It slides in just as easy as it slides out. And it's amazing. I don't know, and that's where the OMG moment came with me. I don't know that I've ever handled uh, another handgun, at least I can't remember one, that was that smooth uh, of a drop and an insert when it comes to a magazine. Now, uh, there are a couple of dislikes that I have with this head gun, Ed, we're going to talk about those here in a second. But first, let's go down range and have a little fun. About 10 yards or so back, got some steel down range. Going to put, uh, yeah, going to put some rounds on that steel. I uh, want to mention, as far as the feel on this handgun, uh, the grip texture, and I like a little more aggressive grip texture. Uh, spot on with this little Kiger from me. Uh, it does have that texture in a few different places on the frame as well. But, uh, let's have a little fun. Here we go. Take a gander at that trigger. About what you expect on the trigger pull from a handgun of this type. Reset. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, really enjoy shooting this thing. I spent some time with it out here on the range. And I tell you what, a few days ago, there was something with this little handgun out here on the range that really impressed me. I'm gonna try to duplicate that a little later on in the video. But for now, let's get back on that bench and uh, you know, let's throw up some paper, shoot for a little bit of accuracy and uh, see what she'll do in that department. Now, shooting still, of course, is fun, but we really did put some rounds on paper. I got a target down there. It's 25 yards away. Before we put rounds on paper, though, there's a couple of things that, minor things, I guess, that I dislike about the Kiger 9C Pro. Both have to do with the sighting system, right? Um, this thing does have suppressor height sights. And I'm told by Anderson, uh, be mindful of that front sight. You want to make sure that it's tight. You want to make sure that you have Loctite on it uh, so you don't have issues with that flying off. Um, I'm not the biggest fan because it is blacked out front and rear. I would like to see some fiber on the front. I'd like to see some type of markings or indication maybe in the rear. Just personal preference there. Uh, at the end of the day, the, the irons, the suppressor sights there don't really matter because this thing is optic cut. But that's another issue is this thing is optic cut for RMR, uh, the RMR footprint. And I think you're limited in the optics that you uh, could use on that as opposed to something like uh, RMS or RMSC, right? But it makes sense with the style of handgun it is, I suppose. Anyway, using a Gideon optics rock on here. Uh, this thing is the green 
uh, reticle version. Uh, it is shake awake and it does have brightness control on it as well, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, let's put some rounds on the paper. Kind of show you what this puppy will do. I'm going to turn my brightness back up. The uh, sun came out a little bit there. All right, here we go. Five rounds on the left, not too shabby. Pretty much what I expected, what I've been experiencing with this. Let's go with the uh, right. <laughs> I just don't see how you could get any better than that. Obviously, the, the Gideon optic not walking off on us or anything like that. And obviously, the accuracy, 25 yards anyway, is there. All right, I'm going to duplicate something pretty crazy uh, that happened the other day with the Kyger 9C Pro. I was shooting that same still, but I was doing it uh, back here at the uh, table at the bench, 50 yards away from the multi-cal steady rest. Five rounds loaded up. <sighs> Breathe, get my hold, all that good stuff. Let's uh, see what happens. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, and I think between the paper targets and that right there, 50 yards on six inch steel, um, that leaves something else we kind of need to talk about with this, and that is the barrel on this thing. So I've talked to Anderson, and of course, the care and attention and meticulousness, I think, that went into this handgun also extends to that barrel. Uh, they've talked about how they're really proud of the barrel, and I think what we see as far as the accuracy and uh, distance and everything else we're getting out of this handgun speaks to that attention to detail that they've given to the barrel in the Kyger 9C Pro. Now, whether or not it's based on what you've seen in this video, or maybe you own a Kyger 9C Pro, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. You heard me mention that Anderson 9mm carbine earlier. If you want to check out the video on that, well, I've got it locked and loaded right here. As for this one, we're done. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to change fire freedom. Bye.